Hi, Mary McIntyre here. It's the 16th of June and I'm set up to capture another International Space Station transit of the sun. I'm using the William Optics refractor with a thousand oaks glass filter on it and my ASI 120 camera. There was a transit yesterday of a daytime 15% um, crescent moon and boy that was a challenge <laughs> in bright sunlight trying to even get the moon visible on screen was so hard. So in theory this one should be a bit easier because I'm just going to do it in white light and the ISS is going to be relatively large compared to some transits so it's going to be happening in just under 20 minutes and if I've got everything lined up properly the ISS is going to kind of cut across the top part of the sun and there is a really nice sunspot there so all being well it should be a really nice transit it's actually there's a lot of thin cloud around but that shouldn't be too much of a hindrance as long as my focus is good should be good so i'll see you when the transit's about to happen okay i've hit record should be about 25 seconds until the transit i had a very bad start to the day when a huge spider crawled out of my skirt so i'm hoping that this works and it cheers me up i needed chocolate after that trauma <laughs> come on come on come on yeah! Whoa, that was actually crossing way lower than I was expecting it to. Gosh, it always amazes me how fast these transits actually are. I actually had sun positioned, I can't quite get all the disc in, and I had it positioned because I was expecting it to kind of go across at one angle, but it did something slightly different. But luckily it was in shot, so let's see what I got. I think that turned out actually quite well, all things considered. It was like 29 degrees here today, which is why I'm looking a bit shiny, <laughs> a pale girl in this heat. I don't do very well. Um, but that meant that the scene was really bad. It was actually very hazy. So when you watch the video, you can see the ISS kind of coming in and out of focus. But I extracted all of those frames. I, I first of all debayed the video. Once I'd got a debayed version, I extracted the frames so that I just had the 20 out of the 1600 frames that I then stacked together so that I had a picture with all of the the ISS crossing the disc. Once I'd done that, I then stacked the, the video to get a better resolution of the sunspot and then I blended the two of those together. I actually like to desaturate my images and then add false colour back in so that's why the colours are slightly different um, in the video that's raw compared to the processed images but um, I just find I get a better result that way. So yeah, I think it um, it turned out okay considering the conditions and I think the ISS is probably about the biggest apparent size that I've caught yet on any of my ISS transit videos. So pretty pleased with the outcome. Next week there are two more transits and I don't know what the weather forecast is like. I don't tend to look that far ahead, but hopefully on those days I'll have fewer spiders in my clothes when I start the day. <laughs> So it gave me an excuse to eat some chocolate anyway. It works to get rid of dementors in Harry Potter. So spider trauma, I think chocolate is a win. So anyway, I digress. I wanted to ask you guys, do you like vlog style videos from me? Because if you do, I'm happy to do more of them. Generally my channel, I just kind of upload the time lapses and videos of stuff that I'm up to from a photography perspective. So if you like that kind of thing, just let me know. Um, also, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. That would be great. 
I have got to work on a video um, you may have seen online that I'm doing this challenge to create astronomy sketches and pieces of art every day for two months. One of those was a, an acrylic fluid painting that was inspired by Aurora Borealis and I actually have made um, video clips showing you how I went about doing that so hopefully I'll get that put together soon. It's just been a bit crazy so I've not had time. Um, so hopefully you'll enjoy that so that will be coming up next but um, subscribe if you like astronomy content because that's predominantly what we do here. See you in my next video. Take care, stay safe everyone. Bye for now.